Hi everyone, you're back again with Can You Dig It? And in today's episode, uh, first of all, as you can see, we're inside. Uh, it's been raining quite heavily today uh, in the Midlands. Um, so today's episode, we're going to have a look at germinating seeds uh, from Packet, where, as you can see in front of you. So we've got two varieties of sunflowers, um, a little bit of water. We've got a plate, um, a food bag, sandwich bag, and we're going to need some of these as well. Um, I'm going to prefer to germinate this way. You can directly sow into the ground, uh, but guys with sunflower seeds, especially more so these ones, as they're edible, uh, I don't know if you've had them, they're quite nice. Uh, the birds, uh, they'll find them, they'll dig them out, and you'll most likely end up with none. Uh, and also germinating this way, um, on the back of the pack, it's uh, 10 to 15 days. Um, I'm going to hopefully try and cut that in half. Um, ideally, these should have gone in at the end of May. Um, well, the last week of May, we're now into the first few days of June. Um, so I'm going to try and get these in, hopefully. Um, I'm going to start them off like this, uh, and then they're going to go into small pots, try and get them rooted. And then we'll find various spots around the garden to locate them. Um, I've seen these seeds before. These are your normal sunflowers. These grow up to two to three meters. Wow, that's brilliant. Um, hopefully we get them. We get 15 in a pack, I think. Yeah, approximately 15 seeds in that one. And same with that one. Uh, guys, I got these from my local supermarket. Uh, I think this one was 49p and this one was 29p. Um, so that's 30 seeds for what, not so, what, 78, 77p, something like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is, first of all, well, let's have a look at them. So we'll, we'll do the dwarf ones, and the process is exactly the same for the other ones. Um, with most seeds, you can do this way. Uh, so let's have a look at these. Okay, pack it in a packet. So you can get rid of that. I'll keep that. It's got the instructions on the back there. And uh, they just look like normal sort of flower seeds, hopefully that focuses in. Brilliant. Um, we're going to try and touch these as little as possible. I have washed my hands, um, but the less contact we can get, we just risk, you're just risking some cross-contamination and things like that. So we're going to start with... We're going to get two sheets of kitchen towel, uh, fold it over, not quite neat with the rip there, but never mind. And then what we're going to do is, with the water, we're just going to slightly give it a little soak. Okay, do a little bit more there. Okay, make sure that's nice and wet. There's a little bit extra there, but that's okay, because we are going to use another one, and that should hopefully mop that up. Okay, so what we'll do is we will use another one, because I've only got 15. I can, I'm sure I can get away with them all being in one. Yeah, brilliant. Perfect. Okay, so that's three sheets I've used there. And then what we're going to do is... Gonna evenly scatter them, try and leave a little bit about a centimeter or two between each one. Hopefully these will start sprouting in a, about four or five days, I hope. And then we'll do another video and we'll see the ones getting transplanted. One's a bit oh, that's a bit of a big one. So something like that, guys. Uh, and then what we'll do is we're just gonna fold it over. And just give it a little pat. Just try and make sure that there's it's nice and wet and damp around each seed. Brilliant. And if you want, you can fold the edges over as well. Brilliant. And that's it, guys, for that. And then all we do is get a sandwich bag. And we just want to carefully... Put these in here. 
now what we want to do is brilliant excellent that's perfect and uh, where am i going to put that i'll probably put that somewhere in a dark place i've got a cupboard in the shed so i can just pop it in there um i won't check on it for about two days i don't want to disturb it i don't want to open them up and start poking around it because chances are in 24 hours not much is going to happen um i'll check back on them in two or three days um i'm going to do the other one now but again we'll we'll, we'll, we'll stop it there um and it's the exact same process although these seeds might be a little bit bigger you might want to leave a little bit more of a gap between them when you're doing this um but yeah again you can get them all all, all in one um, as there's two, if you haven't got a different sandwich bag, you want to clearly label it or, you know, the kind of different colours you might want to make it a bit easier, put that in there so you know that's that one, but that's entirely up to you. Uh, so yeah, guys, um, germinating seeds from Packet, um, sunflower seeds, we've gone for the dwarf ones today. Um, brilliant, hope you enjoyed that guys. Uh, thank you for watching and if you enjoy stuff like this, uh, this is what we're about here at Can You Dig It? Uh, lots more videos to come, we're new, we're starting out, uh, big things to come. Guys, please subscribe, like, uh, please share my content if you wish. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching Can You Dig It? See you on the next one. Goodbye.